Hey, YouTube Brando here. Today we're going to make a video on uh, shit at the pan, fire starting, camping, fire starting, whatever. Uh, we're going to go over a couple factors in it. We're going to go over tinder uh, and ways to actually start the fire. Now, everybody knows you can use tinder from outdoors, uh, dry, uh, wood bark, tree bark, stuff like that. Uh, you know just real fine fibers work well but I like to make my own so I do make a couple of different kinds and then I like to use stuff that I already have uh, you know they sell those little fire patties and I, I don't know how much they cost because I've never bought one but you can make uh, <clears throat> pretty much the same stuff uh, with stuff from around the house and, and there's already pre-made stuff like uh, an alcohol pad Alcohol pads work great for uh, starting fires. Just make sure that it's 70%. Uh, uh, what is that? Isopropyl. So make sure it's 70% isopropyl. You know, just look for that right there. And the same thing goes with uh, hand sanitizer. Just make sure it's 70%. Uh, this is actually 62%, but we're going to give it a shot anyways. And we're going to try these at the end of the video. Uh, I just wanted to go over a few first. So that's a good accelerant right there. <clears throat> both of them work well. Uh, I've used them both outdoors, and they both, you know, they both work. So now this. You can see there's no more fluid in it. This was full of alcohol, rubbing alcohol, 70%. This, uh, you can even buy the cheap stuff. As long as it's 70%, you're good. So we use uh, this right here, and we take inside of here, there's some cotton twine, uh, some matches. And by the way, your matches, you don't have to actually break up your matches. You can just use your matches and then save the what's not burnt on them, you know what I mean, and break them up and throw them in here. And then in the bottom we have some cotton balls to soak up that uh, alcohol real nice. Uh, and we're going to top this off, and it doesn't leak. Uh, it's just a little medicine bottle. Uh, you could actually wrap tape around it if it makes you feel better or something. You don't want to throw this in your pack just like this. I throw it in there just like this, and I've never had it leak. So, But you may want to put some electrical tape or some Teflon or something around it if you want to. And we're going to try a little bit of this as well. Now, this hasn't been soaking real long, so it's not full of alcohol, but there's enough in there that we're going to try some of those uh, matches and see how well they take off. Uh, this is, it's a piece of notebook paper, but inside of it there is some cotton ball that has been uh, kind of spread out a little bit and shred up and then we fill it with uh, petroleum jelly uh, and it seems to work. It does not work as well as alcohol, I can say that, and uh, doesn't work as well as the hand sanitizer as long as the hand sanitizer is 70%. Like I said, this is 62, but we're going to try it anyway. So these right here uh, do work, but I would prefer the alcohol pad over that. So this is the first one I ever made. I've used it twice and I haven't, you know, doesn't take much. Uh, of the cotton in there but it takes enough that you know you're only going to get two or three uses out of something like that this wow this is just some matches uh, and it's probably two four six maybe eight or ten matches in there and then in between them there is a uh, just dryer link dryer lint makes great tinder uh, it takes off really quick and it burns really well I like it so we uh, make these little packs right here and it's kind of waterproof we just tape it up real nice and make sure no water can get into it if it does get wet you know it, it this will float you know whatever no water is going to get down in there how well we have you know we have it taped pretty well so we're gonna I don't know if we're gonna be able to light this off because we're inside it's raining outside right now I haven't been able to do any videos outside lately plus my yard looks like crap and I don't want that in the background until uh <laughs> until I get the grass mode and stuff you know people always got comments about it 
about your yard or you know whatever if your truck's dirty in the background they got something to say about it so I try not to give them ammo now let's go over some uh, some lighters some matches stuff like that this is your more primitive means uh, or what I call primitive this is just a uh, flint uh, and it's not really called a it's like a ferrocium rod or something I don't know I just call it a flint it makes a nice spark and then this is a magnesium bar with a flint on it uh, this works decent it's not great I don't I prefer to use a lighter I mean who don't you know match works great so if you have it use them but you could put this on your keychain and this is a lot better than this because this is just going to throw spark this magnesium will actually light off you shave it off uh, make it a nice little pile inside of a piece of paper or you know inside your tinder bundle or whatever and uh... it lights well it just takes a while and a little bit of practice and by the way when you're using these let me see if i can get this in the shot when you're using these you hold your knife still and pull back on the rod so you hold your knife right over your flame or right over your tinder bundle and then you pull back with the with the rod and it'll shoot the plant, uh, sparks down if you do like this you take the chance of actually hitting your tinder bundle and messing it all up so and it's the same thing with uh, the uh, magnesium you do it like that it makes it a lot easier uh, it took me <clears throat> a while to get that down actually uh, I was doing it the wrong way and somebody watched the video and they kind of commented on it was like hey just hold the knife still and pull the rod back and it makes it so much easier and uh, after I did it a couple of times I got the hang of it and I, I've I've started fires with this uh, just this by itself no accelerant I didn't have any alcohol all I had was some really dry wood and it worked but it took probably about half an hour to get a fire going so it works better uh, with an accelerant that you can actually pour around the magnesium so once the magnesium takes off it lights up that accelerant and then lights your tinder bundle so uh... now we're going to get into some lighters yeah these uh... kinds of lighters right here they're barbecue lighters uh... it's good if you want to step back and light a fire these are good for like barbecue bits and stuff honestly I would not uh, carry one of these in my bag just because of how big it is there's no weight to it at all it's about as much as a big lighter but it's just long and bulky takes up too much space but they do work and we're going to use that to light off the uh, alcohol pads and stuff and show you how well those take off now if you're going to buy just a regular cigarette lighter don't go buy one of them cheap uh, 49 cent, 99 cent clear lighters. Buy a Bic. Uh, Bics last a lot longer. The flints don't ever fall out on me. Uh, and used to, I don't know about now, but used to, Bic used to guarantee their lighters for 3,000 plus lights. So you can light it, light whatever you're lighting, and you can do that 3,000 times. I don't know that they still do because Bic lighters are a lot cheaper than they used to be. Uh, and maybe it's just where I buy them from and also if you get a Bic lighter brand new a Bic lighter's only got that much fuel in it just this much right here very little so when you shake it and you barely hear any fuel that because that fuel is uh, pure if you smell a Bic lighter you can't smell the fuel coming out of it now take one of them cheap lighters with the bastard gas and uh, press it and smell it and you, it smells like rotten eggs it's because it's cut gas it's not pure so they fill those up and they still last one tenth of what a Bic will last and uh, with this much fluid in it you know if they actually filled a Bic up the, the flint would uh, go out before you ever used all the fluid so it would be a waste they put about this much fluid in a brand new Bic not much you know not even half so if you're gonna buy a lighter just make sure it's a Bic lighter they even sell the little ones <coughs> uh, that you can put in like an Altoid tin or something if you're doing a small survival kit or something like that. Uh, this is something I carry in my pocket. The problem with these are if you're just throwing it in a bag, they're not airtight. Uh, and Zippo's 
will leak fluid not actually leak but they'll evaporate the, the fluid will evaporate and you got to ha have fuel for it so that's bulky you know who wants to carry this and if you just fill it and put it in your pack <clears throat> leave it for seven eight months I guarantee you, you might get a couple lights out of it but it's not gonna last you uh, that fluid will evaporate out before you ever get a chance to use it so uh, I don't suggest carrying a Zippo I carry one in my pocket but it's not uh, by any means it wouldn't go in a bug out bag or anything like that so just keep that in mind when you're buying a Zippo it's more of a daily use lighter not a store away this is a good store away lighter if you're going to store something away is a butane lighter there you know it's just like a Bic lighter it's a sealed system you can turn your flame up and down with this little screw right here and you can refill it right here so they work well uh, the only thing about these is the electric igniter goes out on them sometimes uh, but also with these just like the Zippo is uh, windproof you know this isn't windproof but it's windproof enough uh, and actually if you get an older Zippo that's marked 10 on the bottom that's the best kind you can get it's got to be old because the new 10s aren't anything like the old 10s I don't see it. I don't know if you can see it you can't but there's a numeral uh, number this says it's a 16 this is probably like an old school 7 you know a 10 was as high as they used to go and those things man you can hold them in front of a fan on full blast and light it and it lights off this is a pipe zippo by the way it's made to hold like this or you can pop that top off and use it like a regular zippo but it's it's made to hold like this over your pipe so but these right here are windproof as well uh, it just shoots off like a little torch it's a torch lighter is what it is but they work good I like them I use them now you're getting into your uh, different kinds of matches stuff like that and I'm sure there's stuff I'm leaving out here I just don't have everything so I can't show you everything but I like these these are windproof matches and it's just a big piece of sulfur it's like a big match head and they do work uh, in the wind very well these uh, I can't get it open one handed but these aren't uh, windproof but they are waterproof tender inside these if there's extra room like this one right here there's like this much extra space in the top so I keep a bunch of different uh, match heads just uh, just the sulfur so I can put a little pile of match heads in there but they just have a little bit of wax over the tip of them and you don't have to take the wax off to light them or anything they'll light uh, by themselves and I'm gonna okay this may be a little harder let's see if I can get this in the shot so it lights well you don't have to take the wax off or anything and if this gets wet the bottom of it gets wet uh, it'll dry out as it burns towards it <clears throat> but the tip won't get wet because of the wax and I guess if it does get wet you could uh, take the wax off of it now these burn a lot quicker Let's see if we can get this but they're good for like I said the wind See that it burns it all the way down instantly but if you have an accelerant it works well so they do work <clears throat> especially in the wind they work well in the wind I can verify that okay let's clear some of this stuff off here and try to light off some of these uh, tender bundles these homemade tender bundles and stuff and see if they work well 
But we're not going to use a match. We're going to use the barbecue lighter just to be safe, whatever. Probably shouldn't be doing this inside to be safe, but we're doing it inside anyway. Uh, we're going to start off with the alcohol pad. Like I said, as long as it, it doesn't have to be 70%, I guess it'll burn anyway, but 70% seems to burn a lot better. And actually, this right here is burnable, so you can just kind of stick it underneath there and use the uh, alcohol pad as an accelerant. And then this is your dry paper. You, know, you don't have to use paper, but you can. And just we're just gonna light one corner of it. Look how quick that takes off. Pretty big fire for such a little pad. And it burns quick, it burns out quick, so you would have to uh have some grass or something, but you can see that paper, that paper took right off, and now it's gonna burn through the cotton. So, you know, just that little bit and you got that flame right there. If you had a stack of dry grass over it, that stack of dry grass would have been engulfed so let's try to get that out my wife's gonna kill me it's gonna stink in here now but we'll go with it anyway uh, now this next one I don't know how well it's gonna work because it's not 70% uh, it's 62% and it's got fragrance in it as well but we're gonna we got a little dot of it there it's the hand sanitizer It's burning so it does burn but it doesn't burn as well as like the 70% uh, does like the alcohol pad took off like crazy and you can see that paper is uh, not even really burned up yet so there you go and usually you know when you light a piece of paper that's rolled up like that it takes a few seconds of holding that uh, flame on there and that took right off so and that's just well it was this was paper burning right here but there this whole little puddle of alcohol that fell off was burning as well so the alcohol does burn on it so 62% hand sanitizer will work in a pinch On this, we're going to just uh, try the string and the matches. We're not going to pull out the cotton. If it'll burn uh, cotton string, then it'll definitely burn cotton balls. So, I'll just take some of that out. And the good thing, cool thing about this is, is as long as your uh, matches and your string are clean, it's got dual purposes because you, well, because you could use it as a like an alcohol pad, you know. Just because it's not on a alcohol, you could rub these matchsticks on a wound and and clean it out like that with uh, the alcohol on it. So. Now the string you're supposed to tear it apart a little bit. We didn't. But it is burning. It burned all the alcohol off and never burned the string. So and you can see here that goes right out with the alcohol burnt off of it. So it's obviously not that uh, flammable. Matches soaked up enough fluid. Huh. Yeah, it took a few minutes to get that started, so it, it doesn't work as well as the string. That's kind of weird. I figured the matches would work better, but it don't, so. 
there you have it. Uh, if nothing else, the matches would work good for, you know, dry tinder. It's got alcohol on it, but it'll dry out as soon as you put a flame to it. Now these right here, uh, I'm not going to light it off, I don't think, because it, it would stink real bad. Probably make the whole house stink, so we're not going to try it. And I'm using a dull ass knife, of course. should have cut it and cut it open before I started but I wanted to show you how we waterproof them and all that is is a sandwich baggie it's inside of a sandwich baggie and then the sandwich baggie is taped up so, real easy way and I believe this is just one solid bundle so it would burn for a few seconds if you had uh, wet grass or something you needed to burn it may not be it may be uh, it is singles. That's all it is. And those are bread ties holding it on there. A little bit of bread tie, some dryer lint, and that was four bundles. So, and you see I put all the match heads on one end. That's so you can set it like that and light it off. And screw it, we're going to light one. So we're going to light one of them off and hopefully it won't stink too bad. <clears throat> Damn it. I think these would be better lit holding up Ooh, it kind of burnt me so I had to set it down but you can see it's burning the match heads take off and that you know that lint in the middle of it gets a little bit of air to it and it lights up they usually burn a little bit better when they're not stuck down in something and have air coming to them, so. But it works good. These are, and, and they would work even better if you had some rubbing alcohol to throw on it. You know? Just stick that down in there and let that soak up the alcohol. I just, I don't know what sulfur does in alcohol, so I wouldn't uh, leave the tips on there if you're going to do that. But that dryer lint works well. Uh, I like dryer lint as a fire starter. So there you have it, YouTube. There's some ways you can uh, make your own bundles or fire patties or whatever you want to call them and not have to go buy them. Uh, I'm sure they're not that expensive, but they're more expensive than what I want to pay. So, And usually, by the way, you can make your own uh, waterproof matches. Just dip the heads down in wax. I mean, it's that simple. You know, you don't have to buy them. I only bought these because they were a dollar on uh, eBay. Now I think they're like a dollar fifty, maybe two dollars. And I think uh, the windproof matches were the same on eBay. I think they're like a dollar fifty, something like that. And there's less in here than there is in here, but there's a lot more sulfur. So I like these better. It's a twenty-four count on these, and these are. I believe a 50 count. So there you have it. Thanks for watching YouTube.